G'day guys, welcome back. Just before we start, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that button below, subscribe and... Uh, subscribe to our channel and help us get to 30,000 yeah. because we're really, really close. close. So if you're watching this video and you always watch our videos and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Last time we left you hanging and we are about to fill you in on what really was going on. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. Last time you guys assumed that there was going to be a new Catalpa member. No, no, no. <laughs> No. What actually happened was I did go to the doctor and I did have an ultrasound and I did make a phone call to Lee that... And, We're uh, gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him a picture of the ultrasound and tried to trick him but yeah no I was just having some gut issues. I had gastritis and... Yeah she's tricking me here I am on the <laughs> boat point looking for a bigger boat thinking I need another room. Anyway so yes I'm sorry we misled you a little bit. I am not pregnant. I am fine. Well, and everything's all boat. good. If I had a bigger boat, I'd probably think about it. Um, your, na out your nails are in view. <laughs> <laughs> Bella's been painting the nails. Uh... We'll see how many people notice. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Lee and Taj sailed up to Gilly Air today. Well, we had a little hospital visit. Um, yeah, it's really cheap to come get all these results and the doctor was super nice and they were really thorough. So. The Gilly Islands are a group of three tiny islands. This is Gilly Air, located near the coast of northwest Lombok in Indonesia. We were here back in 2018, just after the devastating earthquakes, and we are here now during the coronavirus. We've only visited this island during quiet times, but it's definitely a popular tourist destination and a beautiful place to visit. The Gilly Islands are turtle nesting havens, and we saw this little guy that must have freshly hatched on one of the beaches nearby. Such a beautiful little baby, we think loggerhead turtle, starting its big adventure into life.
So we were at Gilly Air and we're just walking down the street. Probably every fourth shop is open, maybe. Not even. There's a lot of things that are closed. But um, we're just going to a little school. We're gonna, kids are gonna volunteer and see what that's all about. The girls learned to make these bracelets. The kids here sell these bracelets to raise money for supplies. The boys were learning some new skills also. No. <laughs> Do you make these, Wayang? Yeah. Yeah. You're doing it like a spear gun touch. What's that? Are you doing it like a spear? Yeah, that's the weak point. Oh, yeah, gangster, gangster style. Yeah. Gangster style. <laughs> and so we're going back over to the uh, Chili House. It's not actually a school. It's a place where um, kids can go on when they're not at school. So the government school here is only one hour, three days a week. So um, there's a beautiful lady here that is running the centre that has the kids come. And uh, we're going over to volunteer today. We're I don't know, just going to go hang out and have some fun with them. And the kids have got some art supplies and stuff. I think Malachi is bringing some clothes and now it's summer Taj is colouring in pages because the kids like colouring in. So <laughs> I think colour in Taj is artwork. Kids made a skeleton so the kids here could learn about the bones and the parts of the body. This is the skeleton <laughs> they made. Um, almost. We're just okay. And we're you're velcroing it together, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Almost. So they actually turned out pretty well. Yeah, I think it did a good job. support this beautiful woman and what she's doing. Um, I'm going to put a link down below and you can donate directly to this so, what chili house. The chili, chili house. house. It's a yeah. Lombok house. Yeah. yeah, she's doing beautiful things for the children here. So if anybody wants to donate, you can. And thank I'll, you. Yeah, thank I'll you so link. much. All right. <laughs> So Tara and I came over today, we, uh, we're doing visa extensions, but we're also doing something to surprise Lee for its birthday. While we were in Bali, Lee went and tested some pretty cool locally made timber spear guns. He loved the guns, but decided they were a little bit too expensive and didn't end up getting one before we left. It's his birthday in uh, three days. So where we come over to pick up a spear gun for him. I just kind of go get it now. I'm trying to work out how to pay for it and do all this stuff without him knowing, but hopefully we can keep it a secret and uh, he can have a, a nice surprise of a spear gun on his birthday. This is Diet and he lives in Lombok. Matt had brought a gun from him already and Lee had tried it in the pool. So he knew he liked it. Thanks to Matt's help, we had organized one to be made just for Lee. got this far. Lee still doesn't know. I'm going to wrap it up in a tarp and try and hide it from him. Don't spill the beans, Liam. Right. <laughs> So Tara's now going to sneak it into their boat so that we don't have it on our boat. We've all got to keep this secret for three days. I don't think that's going to last. Bella, Bella already looks like I, it's going to be a challenge. No, I'm the best at keeping secrets. I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> Back in Gilly Air, we were very much enjoying the food on this beautiful little island. 
This is our favourite burger place. They're super cheap and delicious. There are plenty of top restaurants, but this next one was our favourite for sure. Okay, if you come to Gilly Air, you have to come and eat here. It's the best. Thank you. The food is so good. <laughs> Bye. 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 See you next time. Yeah. Okay, sumpa jumpa. Bye. So the smoothie bowls are amazing and gado gado. Oh, food there is so good. And ola ola. Ola ola. Whatever you order, you will not be disappointed. And their portions are massive. So once Indo opens up, everybody come here and go eat there. Transfer in Lombok is a little different sometimes. This is the boys getting fuel by horse and cart. We also made a visit to Gilly Tea and indulged in some pretty delicious and sizey pizzas. All in all, we enjoyed our time on this tiny island, eating good food and meeting locals. But it was time to pull anchor and keep heading east. We're pulling anchor in Lombok at Gilly Air and we're heading towards Moya Island on Sambala. So we're going to sail overnight. It's birthday eve for Lee today and uh, it's his birthday tomorrow. He's turning 41. So we're trying to get somewhere we can go spearfishing and hang out in Ireland and um, yeah, we're just pulling anchor. Nalakai, our boat buddies are coming with us and we're heading east, gone with the winds. All right, we should get there in the morning and uh, can have a good birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, you fit, you match the cushions. Oh, you look lovely. Good driving. Yep, yep. That exhaust thing again. Yeah. Why? Bella's gonna stay on watch. Uh, looks like we got the same dramas again. <laughs> so, what is it? Well, it's um, it's a clip from Malaysia. You can see it's shiny, shiny. It was brand new. Um, I thought I might not have tightened it up enough, but it's just a slight bit of rust and it's just broken. Let go. I just. Is there too much pressure on that for some reason? I don't know. That's uh, the exit, so there shouldn't be much pressure on that. Little cupboard again. Everyone was very surprised last time we did this how much actually came out of it. It's a good little cupboard, but when this happens, it's not fun. But I think we got it early. Bella just saw it, so it's not really that wet on the ground. Well, it's all clipped up again.
Very nice. Uh, wind's behind us, we don't have to run our pesky engine. That way nothing will happen. <laughs> no pipes will blow off if we don't use it, so we'll just keep it off, hey honey? Nice yeah, and peaceful. Well. Sun's going down. We've just, it's 80 nautical mile passage, so we should be there in the morning. Oh, about four knots. About seven knots of breeze. Cruising down the Lombok Strait. Uh, making our way into the band of sea, I suppose. And then we'll come around the top of Lombok and then we'll um, be heading east. Well, there you go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the serenity, hey? Big, beautiful volcanoes in the background. So we went to our favourite little Warong on Gilly Air and got some takeaway food before we left. Gado Gado. So I don't have to cook. This is our dinner. We're just approaching Bajo, a little uh, island. Um, we left yesterday from Gilly Air. It's one of the best mornings we've had in a while. It's my birthday. Look at this. We've just pulled up to paradise. since three o'clock so I'm just a bit distracted I've just seen all these rocks out here just gonna check my chart we left about three o'clock yesterday afternoon and I've just pulled in now um, about 7 30 in the morning it's been about I think it was about 80 miles it's had a nice flat slow night which was nice all right I'm gonna go and drop the pick into the anchorage and the water well Oh, whoops, I missed it. The water was 12 metres deep and it was just crystal clear and so pretty and on sand and oh. So we just arrived at the, the Anchorage this morning on uh, Samba. Bella has been making breakfast burritos for Dad's birthday. Oh my God. Bella's brekkie burritos. Bacon and egg and baked beans and mm, yum yum. Lily's birthday and I think he wants to go spear fishing but he's got to do a job first. <laughs> All our rubbers are broken. Can't you just ask the bro? Never done it before but I'm going to have a crack at it. I guess you should have um, listened to Taj and got the spear gun. Mm. Have you done one gun? Yeah. Yeah? Well, why don't you just take this one? Happy birthday! Pass it down Thank you. <laughs> wow, look at that thing, hey? <laughs> Holy smokes. Are you stoked right now? Well, I just spent all morning fixing up the rubbers on my old gun because I thought that's what I was going to have to use. <laughs> that was a part of the plan. And um, <laughs> now I've got a new gun. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go get you a big fit. We didn't have much luck with finding any fish, but it was a beautiful little place to celebrate another lap around the sun for our captain.
We cooked up a Mexican face. And made Lee his favorite, a pavlova. Happiest birthday to the guy that keeps our boat afloat. You, my sweet man, are incredible, and we are so lucky we get to spend our days with you. Thank you for living out the dream with me. It's not always ideal, and we have a lot of challenges, but this lifestyle and our family is pretty damn great. So here's to many more trips around the sun, traveling on the ocean with you. I just wanna hold you for All right, guys, we'll wrap it up. Thanks again for watching another episode. And uh, hold on, Sarah will finish off. I've got to get the boat before we're stuck on a deserted island. Dory is floating away as we speak. Yeah, mate, if you haven't already subscribed, guys, please subscribe and help us reach 30,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. If you haven't checked out our website, go check out the website. It shows you how to become a patron or a mate. That helps us, that supports our videos and supports us and our journey. And we love you guys. We think you're awesome. Please stay tuned. Next week we have four, we have 40 knot winds. It's crazy. Our loser, we lose our steering, something breaks. So the reefing line will have to maintain tension so we don't get sail flat. And I just want to get it down to the first reef because we'll need that to get back to the harbour. Okay. Um, you're going to want to stay tuned. You're going to want to watch. <laughs> All right, we will see you next time. Peace.